Today I'm going to show you how you can do a series of custom feedback messages and create custom navigation as well. So I had a client reach out to me and she was looking for a solution to an advanced answer feedback caption such as what you see here on the screen that would highlight the correct answer with a green outline and uh, highlight the incorrect answers with a red outline and provide some additional context as to why those answers were incorrect. Uh, she also wanted a separate message giving them instructions about how to click uh, next to proceed or something along those lines and uh, I've done some some choices here that I think will work out well for her situation but this might work out well for yours as well. One of the problems that she ran into with using advanced answer options is that when the advanced answer feedback would appear there would be a delay between the feedback appearing and the additional message, the, the regular uh, uh, caption that she wanted to display. So I've come up with this solution here. Instead of using advanced answer options, we've added the following items. So first of all, you can see down in my timeline, I've added simple smart shapes, uh, colored and formatted appropriately. So I have answer A, B, C, and D and you'll notice that all of them are not visible in output. I also have this click next to proceed shape and it's also not visible in output and because the click anywhere or press Y functionality I'm not going to be using it in this case here I've got just a regular next button and uh, I've created this using smart shapes as well. I've also put the pause a little bit later on the timeline than the pause point that's uh, built into the question slide itself. So all I need is actually a relatively simple advanced action to get this to work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to run this advanced action uh, when the user either clicks submit with a correct answer or clicks submit with an incorrect answer here. So you can see how I've got this quiz set up. It's graded four answers, uh, the appropriate score and so on. There's no correct caption, there's no incomplete caption, and there's no failure messages as well. So I'm going to start to build this advanced action now. We'll click on the on success action and execute advanced actions. We'll click on the advanced action icon to begin building our advanced action. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this check answer and there's actually going to be four decision points because we need to check it for each of the possible uh, answers that are that are chosen. So first of all our first tab we'll call this answer A and we're going to use a conditional action and we're going to be using a system variable that keeps track of what the answer was that the user selected. So we're going to say if the variable CP quiz info answer choice is equal to and we'll just put in the literal value in this case an uppercase A to represent answer A, then we're going to show answer A feedback. We're also going to show the click anywhere to continue feedback and we're also going to show the question one continue button which is our next button here. We're going to save this as an action, click OK and we're going to need four more of these, one for answer B, one for answer C, and one for answer D. So I'm going to use the duplicate decision function to create what will become answer B. And we just need to make a couple of small changes here. So I'll change the decision title or tab, if you will. We'll change this to the literal value of B 
and instead of showing the feedback for answer A, we'll show the feedback for answer B, and everything else will remain the same. So I'll duplicate this as well, and we'll do it two more times here. So we'll just relabel this answer C. We'll change the condition to look for answer C, and we'll display answer C. And then last but not least, we'll do the same thing for answer D. Again, change that to the literal value of D. And rather than displaying one of the other captions, we'll show the caption for D. So I'm going to update this action now. Click OK. Click Close. And make sure that this is what's being executed when the user submits the correct answer but also on the last attempt or their incorrect um, submission as well. So we'll have it check for both and it will display the appropriate message and either score it correctly or score it incorrectly uh, automatically. So once that happens, it will show the next button and then the user can go on to the rest of the course, whether it be additional question slides or not. One of the things that you may wish to do, if you are going to give users the ability to return to this slide, you'll probably need to reset all of these settings back to normal. So on a second visit, you're going to need to create another advanced action, and we're going to run that from the Properties Inspector, and it's going to be on Enter, and we're going to execute Advanced Actions, and we're going to create the new advanced action here, and we'll just call this, uh, we'll create a new advanced action. And this just needs to be a standard advanced action. It doesn't need to be a conditional action. And we'll call this um, on enter slide one. And so we need to do a few things. We're going to need to hide all of the elements that we've created for this slide. So we'll hide answer A. We'll hide answer B's feedback. We'll hide answer C's feedback. Essentially, we're resetting this slide back to normal. So everything is being returned to normal. I'll save this as an action. Click OK. Click Close. And make sure that my on enter advanced action is running from the Properties Inspector. So I think we're pretty good to test this out. Let's do a preview in HTML5 in browser. So here we go. Let's choose a wrong answer and hit Submit. And as you can see, we get the highlight around the answer that was chosen and a message that indicates that that's incorrect. Elizabeth May has never been Prime Minister. We also have our message, click Next to proceed. And of course, the next button appears, and I can go, of course, to the end of the course. If I reset this and we'll launch it again, let's get it correct this time. I'll choose Justin Trudeau, hit Submit. It highlights that Justin was a correct answer. I have my click next to proceed, and there's the next button there. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.